Welcome to WTSA, the World Telecommunications Standardization Assembly being held in New Delhi in India. I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio now by Meenal Gupta, who is the founder and CEO of EZO5. Meenal, welcome to the studio. Yeah, hi. Thank you. Thank you, Max, for calling me and giving this platform. Now, tell me a little bit about uh, the solution that you're exhibiting here at the WTSA Expo, which I know has got a, a lot of uh, attention, including from the, the Prime Minister of India. Yes, yes, it was it was appreciated by Prime Minister of India, Mr. Narendra Modi. So uh, basically, I'll tell you the details of uh, the product that we have. It's a, a pack system. Basically, we have a medical imaging storage system that is on cloud. Medical images that we say is pack, CT scan, PET scan, X-ray, MRI that are being stored on cloud. And we have uh, used our advanced technology that can be used on those stored images. And we can detect diseases like fractures, like uh, uh, TB. Then we have neuro diseases that can be detected using the stored images, uh, medical images. So this is our complete solution. So it's not doing away with radiologists, but it's it's actually saving them a lot of time. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. So basically, there is for a radiology who which can where the radiologists can view this images from anywhere, any place, and it can save lots of time because it's not uh, specific to a place where uh, hospitals where radiologists have to visit the hospitals and make the uh, uh, reports. So it saves lots of time and improves the patient's outcome. What are we talking about in terms of numbers of images that are processed on a regular basis, let's say, within the healthcare system here in yeah. India? So if we talk about uh, hospital-wise, per hospital right now we are getting images, if we just talk about x-rays, we get around 200 to 500 images on daily basis. And CT scan, PET scan, they are a bit less, uh, not uh, as compared to x-ray, they are less, but yes, somewhere around 120, 150 on daily basis. And how fast can these images be processed then by the AI? So I'll give you an example. For example, uh, we have around 200 to 300 fracture x-rays on daily basis. So um, that's a lot have, of that's a lot of yeah, fractures, yeah, yeah. isn't it? I mean, so but, here, but that's that's not unusual, yeah. is that right? So when when radiologists will make them report one by one, it takes lots of time. So we can select all the x-rays and run AI. So it will happen in pretty seconds. And after that, radiologists can just confirm whether this X-ray report is correct or not, because there are some false cases as, as well, which can be again uh, retrained to the engine so that uh, uh, those false cases again can be uh, corrected. So this question was asked by Mr. Narendra Modi as well, that uh, how do you retrain your engine when there are from some false positive cases? So this is how we do. We we have created the pipeline. So whenever there is false false positive, we retrain our engine. Engine. Excellent. Okay. Well, I'm glad he asked that question. I didn't need to. That's great. I was, I was going to jump in there. So, in, and in terms of the way that you're rolling this out, I mean, how are people finding out about this, and uh, and how how are you publicising it? Obviously, you're here at the the WTSA Expo, but I, I presume, of course, that uh, you're, you're spreading your net wider than this. Yeah. So. Uh and so everyone is very like quite excited about what what was uh, asked by PM Modi, what was the impact? So here, uh, even Mr. Modi, he was more concerned what impact it has brought. So uh, when we went to tough terrain regions like uh, Manipur and because of climate, radiologists reaching to hospitals was getting tough. And when we reached with this solution, they were like, yes, this is what we want because uh, it, it gets tough pre pre during emergency cases where they want to read the uh, report immediately, but uh, availability of radiologists is not there. So acceptance was there. Yes, uh, it is tough uh, to reach at uh, such tough uh, places, but yes, acceptance is there uh, when we come up with uh, such type of advanced technology. What about mm. speed? What about connectivity? And what about security as well in terms of data privacy? So yes, we are very much concerned about data privacy. That is why we follow all the rules. Like uh, we are already ISO 13485, uh, which 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 is very much concerned for data privacy. We are HIPAA compliant, and we follow all the compliance that are uh, that are uh, very specific for patient data. It should be secured while sharing when the data is on rest, when data is traveling. All the security norms should be followed. So we follow all follow all those guidelines, and we are getting compliant for all the processes. 
uh, one by one, yeah. And in terms of, we talked about rural areas, I was just wondering about health centres, hospitals in rural areas, and perhaps the lack of, uh, of connectivity or the lack of speed, how, how can that be improved, do you think? So uh, we are doing tie up with uh, telecom companies uh, who are reaching to uh, rural areas along with them we are joining their hands and reaching over there so that they can provide the better connectivity and using that better connectivity we can uh, give uh, advanced solution technology advanced healthcare solutions to them. Uh, I wondered about your future about how you're planning to uh, evolve this. So uh, for scaling up, uh, we are planning uh, because we pretty much align with the uh, mission that government of India uh, and PM Modi is having. Uh, there are pretty many schemes like uh, intelligent villages there where we want to take uh, our solution to even remote and rural areas. Then there are many schemes uh, and many many projects. We self uh, want to start along with the uh, support of India Indian government like uh, TB. Uh, analysis like we we support for tb tb analysis and along with asha workers and all we create a complete program and complete project where not in only in diagnosis of tb even of tuberculosis tuberculosis uh, not even not only diagnosing of that disease we follow up along with uh, asha workers who can track uh, whether the medication is done properly whether they have done haven't taken proper diet everything so that it does not go into advanced stage sorry so, asha workers you were saying asha workers are local health workers okay uh, uh, each country is having in india we call them as asha workers yeah so um, so along with that we are planning to come up with this such type of pro proposals we are pr proposing this to government so if 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 we get support from them yes we'll we'll come up with this thing as well yeah. That's wonderful. Well, thank you very much indeed for joining us here in the ICU studio here at the World Telecommunication Standardization Assembly. And uh, thank you for being an exhibitor here at the uh, WTSA Expo. And we look forward to catching up with your success story in the near future. Wow, thanks. Thanks. Thanks a lot. And we also look forward to uh, sequentially coming over here and uh, give up more new success stories. <laughs> Thank you. Excellent. Thank yeah. you very much indeed. And if you've enjoyed this interview, which I'm sure you will have, then do check out our other interviews on our YouTube channel, as well as our podcasts on our podcast channels, SoundCloud, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts from. And for further information, why not visit our website at www.itu.int. And thanks for tuning in.